Merry Christmas. So it's that time of year again where we got the trees out, we got the ornaments, we got ho ho ho, Merry Christmas, Santa Claus and everything. And what better time of the year than to celebrate all the top comic book Christmas covers. So I'm going to be going over my Marvel, my DC and my Indies. And right before I get started, if you guys are in this whole YouTube community and you watch all your favorite YouTubers, make sure to check out this lit video up here. Uh, it's about the uh, 2019 Community Rewind. I didn't get everybody in there because I was kind of pressed for time, but it's it's pretty entertaining. Now, let's get on with the covers. All right, so now my first favorite Marvel Christmas cover came out in 1975. Marvel Treasury Special Giant Superhero Holiday Grab Bag. But man, look at this cover, dude. This cover looks freaking awesome. And it's like, it kind of like encompasses the whole holiday season, the whole Christmas season with some of your favorite Marvel characters. And I just love it, man. I hope one day I'm out in the wild, I'm just able to come across it. All right, and then the next one is the Spectacular Spider-Man issue 112. We got Santa, he's got some awesome glasses on. He's toting a pistol. He's got a little cigarette in his mouth. And man, this is this is like a badass Santa. You know, this is like you don't mess with the Santa. Um, um yeah, I, I haven't read this at all. But uh, if I'm ever to be able to come across it, this is gonna be a book that like, come on, dude, who wouldn't want to get this? Now, a book that I most commonly see, and I actually think I have like two or three copies, is the Incredible Hulk issue 378. Where we got freaking Hulk, we got Santa Claus, and they're going at it toe to toe. And I'm like, oh, this is such an action packed cover with freaking. You got the Hulk and Santa going at it like how how crazy is that now we got this it takes one to kill one blade issue number four and we got freaking blade and it looks like a zombie like a vet oh no i'm sorry not a zombie wow a vampire santa claus and who better to kill him than blade you know and and what happens to all those presents now that we have a a, a, a venomized could you imagine venomized santa hey i don't write for marvel but I just gave you some ideas. And then my second to last Marvel book is this Bizarre Adventures issue 34. And for instance, for me, I don't see a lot of horror Marvel books. So to see like a, a skeleton Santa like coming out the chimney is freaking awesome. And then my last and final Marvel book for Christmas, like a Christmas cover. Let me know down below if there's a Christmas cover that I passed by that you didn't that that you're like, hey, Perry, what are you doing, man? This is like the best one. Make sure to leave it in the comments down below because I, I, I want to see what other Christmas covers you guys got. Well, anyway, this is going to be a one-shot uh, Silent Night, The Punisher, where you got The Punisher dressed up as Santa Claus and he does not look happy. He's just sitting there. He's got like some snotty-nosed little brat pulling down on his beard, taking his beard off. And, and I like how they didn't show any guns, but they showed kind of like a gun holster on his lap like, hey, even I'm Santa Claus, I'm still strapped up. Let's go, bub. That's a completely different character, but even still, I, I love this one. This is freaking awesome. All right, now that we wrapped up all those Marvel Christmas holiday covers, let's move on over to DC, and we're going to start off with Action Comics. Issue 105 that came out, what, like 1947? But I think this is one of the... It, I love this cover, number one, because it has so much yellow, and, like, the whole background is just, like... Goku Super Saiyan ha huh, yellow and it's freaking awesome but then you got Jolly Jolly Santa Claus trying to get down that Christmas tree and someone made their chimney a little too tight so he had to call in some backup and Superman came on down to help push his gut in there <laughs> it's just a funny cover and you know, since we're in that era already, what about Batman? Issue 45, where we got Batman and his little ally, Mr. Robin, coming out like like Jack in a Box, giving out some Christmas presents. And I'm like, oh man, it just it just makes you feel good. It also has that. Yeah, I, I love those those old books with the yellow backgrounds. They just they look so damn good. And if you guys watched my Thanksgiving video, which is right up here, Comic Conclave had a really cool Thanksgiving book cover that I really enjoyed, and they also have a Christmas cover. Issue number nine, and and, and they're kind of like like putting their present through the window and i'm like this is such a great great cover because like here's this kid and he's sleeping he's probably like man I, I hope santa could come deliver me some some presents when i wake up in the morning and santa's not coming but your favorite superheroes are and you know to hit a hard left we got hitman issue 22 where we got santa claus with a gun in his mouth now i haven't read this i haven't come across this book but it looks like santa's getting robbed and hey if you were gonna rob anybody it would be santa man because he's got all the gifts my final dc book and make sure comment your favorite dc comic book christmas cover down below so i can check it out mine's gonna be this lobo christmas special well we got lobo just whipping the heck out of mr jolly green what's his name santa claus old saint nick there's a jolly name for santa that i just can't get my head around anyway he's whipping him and you know what i've come to notice is I don't know too much about Santa Claus in comic books, but I do know that a lot of people go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Santa, and Santa seems to hold his own. 
he's pretty strong. All right, now that we wrapped up the Marvel, now that we wrapped up the DC, I got five more indie books if you just bear with me. Let's let's knock them out. All right, first one's going to be this Grant Morrison book coming out of Boom Studios called Claws. And this is like the first time I've ever actually seen Santa Claus not like Santa Claus. Like, he looks like a freaking badass. And I'm, I'm, I'm digging this. You know, I want to actually go out and hunt these issues because I'm digging it. It's not just issue one. Like, I, I think it's a whole run. And... It looks freaking cool. Let me know down below. Have you read this clause? Because I mean, Grant Morrison and Boom Studios. Hey, shout out to Boom. 2019 was a great year for Boom Studios. And now I know technically this is like a DC asset and it's it's kind of like DC, but it is a vertical title. So I want to like shift it to like the indies because not a lot of people that I've used to talk to thought that vertical was deep. Uh, anyway, it's this Lucifer cover. Then he got Lucifer with his stocking that has his name on the stocking upside down. And he's like all confused. Look at it. This is a funny cover. Now, this next book was actually one of my first Spawn books. And it's, I, I think I have a few of these now. Because every time I see it, I just pick it up. Because I'm I'm a pretty big fan. And you can probably find these in the dollar bin. You got issue number 39 with Spawn. And he's dressed up like Santa Claus. He's got the hat hanging. He's got the big cape all around him. And it just, it looks awesome. And the whole background is white. He's got the snow with the blood. And he's got the bat. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then coming out of Maximum Press, which are they still around? I haven't heard about Maximum in a while. Anyway, we got Santa the Barbarian. And this kind of reminds me of like that Claws book I just mentioned a few few moments ago. But it, it's kind of like a different, like he's like a more of a barbarian-ish type of guy. I don't know. I'm digging this cover. And I want to say this came out sometime in the mid-90s. I don't know. I was just a wee little lad. All right, and then my last and final independent Christmas cover is a book that... Uh, it, out of all the books that all these christmas covers this is going to be one that i want to try to get in 2020 coming out of soul sun publications is freaking samurai santa and i if you guys know me i'm a samurai fan man i i love the whole you know, you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm digging it you know samurai grandpa was one of my top books this year and hey i'm all over this one like butter all right, guys, those are all my Christmas covers this year for Marvel, DC, and Indies. Let me know what your favorite ones are down below. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to smash that like and subscribe if you haven't. Make sure to check out some of my other videos. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.